one topic once again are things elements of the business world that you do not learn in the sports world the first one is infrastructure what do i mean by that in the sports world all your infrastructure is set up for you an example would be who's a let's say tom brady or lebron james or who's another great athlete ronaldo when they show up to the game to play football or basketball or soccer Everything is all the infrastructure has already been set up on their behalf. In other words, the team or the league or whoever has already done all the marketing so that the fans know that there's a game. The fans know where the game is happening. The fans know where to buy tickets. The fans are all excited, not because Tom Brady and LeBron and Ronaldo were going around doing promo for the game. Maybe they did a little bit. Maybe they did because they wanted to, but they didn't have to because the leagues and the infrastructures of the teams that they play for did all the marketing for them. You understand? Who sold all the tickets? Was LeBron James riding around in his car, you know, jumping out selling tickets out of the back of his trunk or asking for you know, donations so his team could travel to Orlando to play in a basketball game? He didn't have to do those things. The league did all the selling so that the tickets are sold and that the stands are full, at least when stands are allowed to be full. The media, how does the TV, the TV networks all know about it and their media passes and people have TV shows built around talking about this big sporting event that's about to happen. Tom Brady didn't have to call the media. He didn't have to pitch himself. He didn't have to put out a press release. Again, maybe he might do those things, but not because he has to. He didn't because he chose to. The game is already going to be sold out and hyped up and everybody's already talking about the Super Bowl, not because Tom Brady did anything to hype people up, because all he has to do is show up. The leagues, the teams, they did all the media to hype that game up. The facilities, when the Lakers play a game in the Staples Center, where the Los Angeles Lakers play, who cleaned the floors? Who made sure that all the concession workers are there? Who makes sure that the lights are working? Who makes sure that the PA announcer is going to be there and make sure everyone gets into the building and they got the right entrances and the security staff all working? Now, LeBron's not organizing all that before the game. All, right, all he's doing is going to the locker room, getting ready to play ball. Somebody's in control of all of that facility set up. What about the audience? Making sure the audience is in there and everybody's really and doing what they're supposed to do. The systems that are in place for making sure that things run properly. The strategy for what are we going to do next? What are we going to do after that? The support staff, the people who wash all the towels and make sure the uniforms are clean and the players have clean socks and make sure that the seats are cleaned up after the last game when somebody spilled popcorn and soda in the third row. Who's doing all that stuff? The athletes don't do any of that. When you play a sport, all you do is show up and play your sport. And is, this is one of the reasons why, whenever I talk about the transition from the business world, from the sports world rather, to the business world, and this is something that athletes sometimes get annoyed with me for saying, but I'm gonna keep saying it over and over again because it's fucking true, is that being an athlete is one of the easiest jobs you will ever have. And that is not because it is easy to be an athlete. I say easiest was a relative term. It's one of the easiest jobs you ever have because you only have one job. As an athlete, all you do is come to the gym or to the pool or to the track or to the field and you play or practice or whatever your sport entails. That's all you do. When you are a business person, when you are a CEO of a company, all of those aspects that I just laid out, you are responsible for all of them. At Work On Your Game Incorporated, I am responsible. Either I, I, I'm responsible for all of these on some level. It doesn't mean I have to do them all, but I'm responsible for them. Meaning, even if I get someone else to do them, I'm responsible for that person that I got to do it. If I hire someone to do it, I'm responsible for the person that I hired. Meaning, if they fuck up, I got to check on their fuck up and make sure that they fix it. Or I got to get rid of them and find somebody else. I'm responsible for all the marketing. I'm responsible for the sales, for the media, the facilities, the audience, the system, the strategy, the support staff. I'm responsible for everything. And I got to do the performance. All of it. When you play a sport for a living, all you do is show up and play. In business, you do everything else. This is one of the things that you do not learn. When you are a basketball player or a football player or a baseball player, you do not learn about running a facility hiring and firing staff, making sure that there are you no know, different levels to management and making sure everything is in the proper order and organizational flow charts and who's doing the marketing and who's doing the selling and who's doing the media promotions, who is, what are the systems in place to make sure everything is running smoothly, making sure that you're actually selling your product. Right, LeBron James doesn't have to sell anything. Now, does he sell things? Yes, he does. He has, I believe he has, his own, he has TV shows and he does business deals outside of playing ball, but he doesn't have to do those things. If he just wanted to play ball, he could just play ball and live off of his salary and endorsements, I'm pretty sure. I heard it pays well what he does for a living. 
when you are in the business world, you're responsible for everything. So you do not learn these things being an athlete. And whatever it is that XYZ athlete, any athlete you want to name, no matter how much they do off the court or off the field while they're playing their sport, they are not immersed in that business world thing. Just like we talked about in yesterday's episode, how being a teacher of something is not the same as being a person who's out there actually doing the something as a full-time job every single day. No athlete is fully immersed in the business world while they're still playing their sport. I don't care how much they tell you or how much some article that's fawning over them telling you how much how many things they got going on in the business world. They're not immersed in the business world because they're still playing their sport. Now, you cannot do both at the same time at a full-time level. It's impossible. I know. Again, I'm qualified to say that. In the business world, you have a lot more things you got to have your hands in and be involved in than you do in the sports world. That's the great thing about a sports job is that you only have one thing to focus on. doesn't mean it's easy, but you only have one thing to focus on. There's no other job in there. Are very other, very few other jobs where you only have to do one thing. In damn near every other job, you got at least two things that you have to do to get yourself known and out there. And the other thing is in the sports world, you're literally playing a game for a living. 